One of the main challenges in operating a urea plant is to combat the highly corrosive environment in the synthesis section. Ammonium carbamate, which is an intermediate in the production of urea, is um, acting as a very strong acid solution and that makes it very corrosive. Ammonium carbamate uh, corrosion is an intercrystalline corrosion phenomena, which is, gives a very uniform uh, reduction in wall thickness of heat exchanger tubes or liners and at a predictable uh, corrosion rate. So by adding a corrosion allowance to your uh, heat exchanger tubes and liners can give you a predicted lifetime of your equipment. Next to corrosion in the liquid phase, you have also severe corrosion in the gas phase of the urea equipment, especially uh, when conversation takes place. When ammonia and CO2 are condensing on the surface, it uh, reacts very quickly into a, a very strong uh, ammonium carbamate film. And the oxygen, which is also present in the gas phase, needs time to diffuse through the liquid film. So there is a delay in passivation of the surface. And that makes condensation corrosion very uh, severe. So condensation should be avoided as much as possible. Finally, when the design of the equipment contains crevices, these are also spots where we have very high corrosion. The reason is that the carbamate which enter, enters the crevice will be depleted from the oxygen because there's no refreshment of oxygen and that makes also these spots very prone for high corrosion. So crevices should be avoided in your design. Mm -hmm.